Good evening and welcome to our first BCP Spotlight game of the 2020-2021 season. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Glad to get to be with you all tonight. Excited. I mean, really excited to get to call some basketball. And we should have a pair of good games tonight to broadcast. The girls game, the boys game, the visiting Dixon Comets, and the home team, the Caddo Bruins. We'll get the starters to you here in just a moment. We want to say thank you to everyone again for watching tonight. Tonight's BCP Spotlight game is presented as a three-pointer quickly in the hole for Carly Robinson. The senior has the Lady Bruins on top, presented by K&D Customs as well as Firehouse Subs, Gallipot Pharmacy, and Pro Image in Durant. Robinson getting a hand in there, and this time stepping in the passing lane. Starters for Caddo look like this. The number eight team in Class A is Emily Robinson. That shot won't fall. Lady Comets get the rebound. The 10, senior Emily Robinson wearing number four is another senior, Carly Robinson. Emily Robinson, excuse me, the sophomore. Senior wearing 25 for Caddo is Kennedy Morgan. Another senior, Kylie Anderson wearing number 44. And she's the one who will pick up the foul there for Caddo. And then a sophomore wearing number two, Harley Mullins. Lady Comets at the moment not able to convert the free throw line. Starting lineup looks like this. A senior wearing number 32, Michaela Smith. She is on the line, misses the second free throw as well. She's 0 for 2 on the night. Another senior wearing 35, Caden Brown. A sophomore, number 15, Chesley Apala. A junior, number 10, Audrey Young. And a freshman, number 5, Chloe Hightower. This is a matchup of two teams that come in, each without a loss. Mullins thinks about the shot and I think a little bit better of it. We are broadcasting right now on the Bryan County Patriot Facebook page it is a facebook live broadcast it will also be rebroadcast later as this will be uploaded to the midwest sports net youtube channel so please be sure and check it out there if you're watching us live and uh, we're hoping the signal is good let us know if you're watching us at least on facebook let us know double dribble the violation and so the lady bruins will get it back up by three Gallipot Pharmacy bringing us the first quarter here. As Anderson receives it down low, she'll go to the line to shoot two. Kylie Anderson, the senior, will get her first opportunities at the free throw line. First foul is charged to the freshman for Dixon, Chloe Hightower. Gallipot Pharmacy in Caddo, excuse me, in Calera. Josiah Schomer is from Caddo. <laughs> Pharmacist Josiah Schomer. Be sure and visit him. And it's an independent pharmacy, but they have all of your needs taken care of. Anderson, by the way, makes the second of two free throws. It's a four-point lead now for the number eight Caddo Lady Bruins and another turnover for Dixon. Dixon coming in again, 2 and O. Oh. Wins over Springer and Winniewood. Outside the arc, three taken by Emily Robinson. And the sophomore puts that one home, and it is a seven-point game now. Lady Bruins, quick steal, get it right back. Underneath, nice look, and that one finds its way home for Morgan. Comets are going to call a 30-second timeout, and Coach Terry Robin Rogers is going to talk this one over with his team. Trailing in the early going 9 nothing. less than two and a half minutes have gone by here in this first quarter. And the Lady Bruins asserting themselves right now here at home. Do you have confirmation that the audio is good? Is the video good, though? (laughs) 
And again, this will be on Midwest Sportsnet's YouTube channel. Please subscribe. We would appreciate that. Trying to get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the calendar year. I know there are lots of folks that would be ready for 2020 to be in the books and done. And that's neither here nor there right now. We're trying to get to those that thousand subscriber mark, so please do, please do let us know. Another turnover, pressure by the Lady Bruins results in two more points, and Robinson with another two. She has five now on the night. Eleven nothing. The press gives an opening underneath, but Jones can't put it in. J.C. Jones, a senior, into the contest for the Comets, and Dixon will get it back. Parker Garrett has also checked in for Dixon, another senior. Coach Rogers said his seniors would see time tonight. Pass around that zone defense, and Anderson is going to pick up her second personal foul. That is now two on Kylie Anderson, and we'll see subs come into the game for the first time for the Caddo Lady Bruins. Checking in the freshman, Katie McKay, and a junior, and Addie Thomas. Robinson with another steal. Robinson stops and pops another two points. Emily Robinson with seven now. And it is a 13-point advantage for Caddo. Shutout still intact. Everyone getting in on the act now. Morgan steps up, knocks that one down. Down the court, it's Robinson again. The Comets will call another timeout. And Emily Robinson making her presence known nine points on the evening and we are not yet at the halfway point here in the first quarter again joey mcwilliams here with you on this bryan county patriot spotlight game it is also broadcast through midwest sports net 15 nothing our score i want to say thank you to Joseph McWilliams, cameraman on the evening. Appreciate him. Also, it's just really good to get to talk about basketball again. Last opportunity to get to play-by-play was at the Great American Conference Tournament in March. March 8th, to be exact, the championship day for the GAC Basketball Tournament. Nine months ago to the day. So if I sound like it's uh, been a few months since I've done a done a call, well, it has been. Appreciate everyone watching tonight again. Gallipot Pharmacy bringing us this first quarter. Gallipot Pharmacy in Calera, independent pharmacy. Let them take care of all of your needs. Here's the pressure again, and the Lady Bruins. Back out of the zone into a man now, and it will fall into a man defense. Ball tipped. Morgan had it out of her hands and falls right into the hands of the freshman. McKay now will bring it up. The skip pass over to the corner. Addie Thomas looked down low. We have a foul underneath, and Morgan found herself under the basket. I believe that foul is going to be charged to Cayman Pittman. Pittman, a freshman for Dixon. 15 nothing the score here. And that one hit just about all points of the rim, but did not fall. Second one sticks. <laughs> Won't go in, though, for Morgan. Now she's over 2 from the free throw line. And we're going to need some help here. No one willing to jump up and, okay, maybe? Nope. Robinson can't quite get it down. Officials do. It's that additional basketball, always ready to get into play. 15 nothing the score. Again, not yet to the halfway point here in this first quarter. If you're just joining us, Emily Robinson with nine points. Yeah. 
Three-pointer long, and we have a foul. Looks like they're going to get Morgan on this one. They do. Kennedy Morgan picks up her first personal. Three-team fouls now charged to the Lady Bruins. Another steal. Two more points. Emily Robinson is there. Emily Robinson is there again. And Dixon just does not have an answer for her right now. Coach Rogers will bring in someone else. Freshman wearing number 21, Carly Page, checks into the game. Martin will find her, and Robinson, after one dribble, forces her to pass it. Morgan kicked, and this one will stay on the Comets end. Nice move around Morgan underneath as Young will put Dixon on the board. I believe that was Young. Comets get an opportunity to show a little bit of pressure of their own, and it is broken. Robinson underneath, scoop up and off the glass and in. Emily Robinson is amazing to watch. Pass inside, Apollo, and it's going to go off the Comets. Another senior checking in now, number 40, Lacey Winchester. Dixon trailing here on the road, 19-2. Dixon again, 2-0 on the year. Pass is over to Robinson, and she is, in fact, human. That one won't go. Sophomore with a ton of points. Stay with the Comets now. Less than three minutes remaining here in the first quarter. And that one last touched by Robinson. She was there. Looked like it might tie it up 10 and 10. The jersey numbers as Cato will see some substitutions. Anderson checks back in with those two fouls. Harley Mullins checking in. And the freshman Claire Pope. No, excuse me. That is Peyton Lowry. Pope wearing 15. Lowry. At 15 last year, she's wearing number five tonight. Jumper good for Michaela Smith. There's a little bit of that 2-2-1 zone pressure now. No one there to help. Ball finally gets over to Robinson. Mullins thinks better of the three. Top of the key, long range. Jumper is good. Count it for Katie McKay. She has three. And Cata will take a timeout after that jumper by the freshman. Gallipot Pharmacy and Josiah Schomer. And by the way, Josiah does broadcast our games as well there. If you want to check it out, stop by sometime. Gallipot Pharmacy and our broadcast, our BCP Spotlight games, you're likely to find them on. And Bryan County Basketball playing as you come in to uh, get your prescriptions taken care of there at Gallipot. East Main, just across the tracks in Calera. Anderson, the only one with any real foul trouble in the early going right now. Kylie has two. She's back out on the court. Robinson, Mullins, Lowry, Anderson, and McKay, the lineup for the Lady Bruins. Page will get it past half court and find Audrey Young. Three-pointer in the right corner, a little bit too strong for Winchester. Another board for Mullins, and McKay will bring it up. Pressure goes away and backs up into an extended zone. 
Robinson will break that off the glass and in. And it really is amazing to watch the moves by the sophomore Emily Robinson picking up really where she left off last season. Lady Bruins didn't get a conclusion to their season last year as eight teams in many of the classes in Oklahoma did not. As the state tournament did not go forward, Caddo would have been a participant as well as Silo here in Bryan County. Robinson just amazing to watch. How about that one? Carly Page with the three. Long-range jumper there for the freshman, and Dixon trying to stay in this one. 24-7 is your score. A little less than a minute and a half remaining. Mullins pass a little bit too high, and it's a turnover for the Bruins. Dixon needing to take advantage now of any opportunity it has with the ball on its end of the court. Skip pass to Page, and Page can't find in the middle of the lane Smith. She will come over the board, and she was fouled. Got position inside on McKay. And McKay will pick up the foul. That's the fifth team foul charge to Cato here in the first quarter. Nice look inside. Shot's going to be a little bit too strong. Winchester can't make it fall. Pass ahead of the pack, finding Robinson down low. She lets one defender go by, and she puts it in off the glass. Carly Robinson with two. 26-7. Time winding down here in the first quarter. Baldwin is slowed down just a little bit. Jumper good, the three in the basket for Caden Barton. And it's her first three of the night. Four baskets made for Dixon, each one by a separate Comet. Two three-pointers to two. And Coach Johnson telling his team to slow down and now run the play. McKay for three. Off the rim, Mullins gets the board, doesn't have time, heaves it back toward the glass. Horn sounds a little bit after the zeros, and we come to the end of the first quarter. It is 26-10. The Lady Bruins are on top in this one over Dixon, and we're going to take a break. We'll be back in a moment here. Bryan County Patriots spotlight game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. <laughs> I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today. Midwest Sports Saturday. The flagship show of the channel there, Midwest Sports Net's YouTube channel. We haven't had a chance to do very many Midwest Sports Saturdays here in 2020, 2021. That will all change, we're hoping, in the spring. Had one opportunity to do a broadcast. We did that from Paul Laird Field on the campus of Southeastern. We'll be back, too, because we do want to promote the new volleyball facility there for the Southeastern Savage Storm. The volleyball facility is top-notch. It really is, and it's, it's the only thing like it as a volleyball-specific facility. I want to say anything for at least a 100-mile radius and maybe more. Uh, you need to check that out. So we'll be back there for a Midwest Sports Saturday on Southeastern's campus. In the meantime, the second quarter is underway here in Caddo. And the Lady Bruins are dominating so far, and it's another turnover. Traveling violation. This one charged to Chesley Apala. And 
Paula, sophomore. It's indicative of the night so far for Dixon right now. Many, many turnovers. And Caddo capitalizing left and right. Anderson, three-pointer won't fall. Rebound to the Comets. Immediately, excuse me, Maria Sutherland with the board. Spin move down low, and Young will go to the free throw line. Foul's going to be charged to Mullins. That's our first tonight. Carly Page, Caden Barton, Chesley Apollo, uh, Maria Sutherland, and Audrey Young. The lineup in the contest right now for Dixon here at the start of the second quarter. Free throws won't fall. Rebound put back. No good. Robinson got a hand on it, but Page comes away. She's going to try a three from the left corner. and That one drops. Carly Page, the freshman, has a pair of three-pointers. She's got six tonight, and now she has gotten her team to at least the halfway point of the Caddo points on the scoreboard, 26-13. First points here in the second quarter. Robinson alone underneath. You can't leave her alone. She missed that one, but she'll go to the line to shoot two. And Wow, as many shots as Robinson's made tonight with hands in her face, maybe she was too open. First free throw is good, and first points on the board here in the second quarter for Caddo. Second free throw rattles home for the number eight Lady Bruins. Robinson's there, more pressure. Comets with an opening, look down the court. Page is going to find an open person down low. Two times point blank for Michaela Smith. She can't make it fall. But the Comets will go to the free throw line there as Sutherland will get the opportunity to shoot too. And that's the seventh team foul now charged to Caddo. Kylie Anderson picks up her third personal. And the free throw is still now not falling. For Caddo, 0 for 5 from the free throw line. And 1 for 6 now as Sutherland gets one to drop. 28-14. Caddo up by a couple of touchdowns here in the second quarter. Nice look down low. Turnaround jumper for Morgan, no good. Tipped around. And Pate, I tell you what, the freshman really has been a spark for the Comets tonight. She's shown a lot of energy, and she has six points for her team. Another turnover there. Three on two look. Doesn't matter. Robinson's going to take it to the glass herself. Can't get it to fall. Hightower, the freshman. Another one of those freshmen for the Comets. Looking down low, that one blocked Barton. Can't go to the glass, and Robinson sends that one out of bounds. Sutherland gets a well-deserved break, and Parker Garrett checks back in. Opening as the zone moved around. Garrett tried the three. That one came up short. Comets are going to keep it on the Dixon end. Pump fake driving in. Jumper from 10 feet. No good. Rebound and put back off the glass. That one is good for Apollo. And Chesley Apollo has her first two points tonight. They move the ball around so well. They find Robinson underneath. Robinson, excuse me, she now has seven. Reverse layup, no good. Falling away, can't get that one to go. And finally, drawing the foul is Garrett. 
Cowboys lead hovering right around this 14-point mark for a little while. Lady Bruins 3-0 on the season. Comets coming in at 2-0. And I don't know at this point what it's going to look like, but you, you have to think for Dixon, the second free throw falls, and Garrett has her first point tonight. Two for eight from the free throw line. An opportunity to be a little bit closer in this with a couple more makes. Not taking advantage. Down low the pass to Robinson, and great job on defense by Apollo that time. Staying with Robinson, not committing the foul. Garrett. 15-foot jumper, no good. McKay. And McKay on the court. Looked like she may have come up a little bit lame there. Took a little while. To, <laughs> either the official didn't call, hear her call timeout or hear the coach call timeout. She expected the whistle to be blown. Didn't happen quickly enough. And... Cato still on top by 13 here. Carly Page unofficially with six points for the Comets. Emily Robinson unofficially with 17 for Cato. I want to say thanks to the folks at K&D Customs. Kent Springer, by the way, K&D Customs bringing us this second quarter. I don't know if you ever stopped by K&D Customs there on 1st, North 1st. It, if you want to make your vehicle look good, that is the place in Bryan County to go. Stop by, let Kent and all of his staff take care of you there. Of course, Kent Springer, a big fan of Caddo Athletics. We're thankful that he's one of our sponsors here tonight, the BCP Spotlight Game. Again, second quarter brought to you by K&D Customs. Night Spotlight Game also presented by Firehouse Subs, Pro Image, and Gallipot Pharmacy. Cato outside the arc, finding Robison. That'll come up a little bit short. Mullen is there, and Mullins will get the board. Draws the foul from the Comets, and this will be brought in under the glass. McKay back in the contest. Lady Bruins lineup right now is Morgan, McKay, Robinson, Robison, and Mullins. Now the Comets come out of that zone. They're looking at a man defense right now. Robinson getting around to Paula. Up and over and in. Carly Robinson with two more. She has nine. Pass inside to Apollo. Nice job. Good look by Young. Get the defender up in the air. Up and over. And Chesley Apollo now has two more points. Comets. Sticking around in this one. McKay draws the defenders. Wrap around pass to Robinson. Can't find it. Point blank shot. Robinson. And she falls away. And the shot's a little bit short there as well. Page looks ahead. Finds a fellow freshman in Hightower. And that will go out of bounds off Caddo. Desperation throwing it back in. Dixon staying in this one down just 13. Shout out, by the way, to Ronnie Walters. By the way, appreciate the help while I go, Ronnie. This game will be a Midwest Sports Net broadcast. It is a Midwest Sports Net broadcast. It will be on the channel. A nice look that time by Barton, and Barton now has five points. Dixon back to within 11. Okay, trying to spin around Page. Freshman guarding one another there, and Robinson will slow it down. Comments of the man defense now. Morgan for three right wing, count it. Kennedy Morgan has her first basket tonight, and it's from 20 feet. Apollo looking over to Hightower, and Hightower can't find the cutter. Nice job by Morgan stepping in the passing lane. Dixon had gotten this lead 
Cut to 11, and it's going to be back to 16. Nice look. McKay with two points. Great pass. Katie McKay has five. Another Comet turnover. Coach Rogers says, well, hey, listen, there might have been a reason she had the turnover. Imploring the officials, hey, get the hand off. A little hand check going on there. Robertson guarded now closely by Barton. Looks to come off a screen, can't do it. McKay will lose control. We have a tie ball there in the lane. Got her feet out from under her there. Kata with eight team fouls now here in the first half. Dixon with just four at the two-minute mark. Don't forget the boys' game will follow this one tonight. And as that was into the bonus mark, Page will have a one and one opportunity. Scoreboard says that Cano has 22 fouls. I think that's a little bit of an exaggeration. There we go with nine. How about that? Another free throw miss, though, for Dixon. And another basket made for Cato. Lead back up to 18. Nice look ahead, finding Apollo down low. Chesley Apollo has six. She ties the lead high for the Comets. McKay tries to hand that one off to Robinson, taken by Page, and Page can't control it. Morgan underneath, looks inside. Thomas, no good, and the board by Young. Morgan wants to reach in, just take that one away. Instead, she's going to send Dixon to the free throw line in the form of Audrey Young. Young 0 for 2 from the free throw line tonight. Caddo again with three games they've been able to get played. Five on the schedule to this point. Two have been canceled so far. As we see some substitutions come now, Young will get a second opportunity there. As that was the 10th team foul. Double bonus now for Caddo throughout there, excuse me, Dixon for the remaining 123 here in the first half. Caddo with a win over Atchley, 58-22 victory there. A win over Rock Creek, 45-point victory there. And over Healton, a 35-point win. Another missed free throw there by Young. She's 0 for 4. Robinson looking ahead. Three on two look, and Morgan will slow it down. Skip pass a little bit too far. Robinson double teamed. Mullins at the left elbow. That one will come up short. Nice job by Morgan. One of the things about these Caddo Lady Bruins, they will hustle to the ball, and Morgan typifies that often, chasing down the loose boards. Long-range three-pointer right wing is good for Emily Robinson. She's into the 20s tonight. 20 points for Robinson. And the Comets can't hang on to it. It's going to stay with Dixon, though. Falling away, Sutherland just trying to throw it back in. Tipped out by Caddo. Winchester back in the game. Looking down low. Pass too strong for two players. And into the hands of the Comets, Michaela Smith. And she has two. Closing seconds here in the first half. Mullins getting words from her coach. And they want to slow this one down. Let time go off, holding on to a lead. Robinson instead taking it to the glass. Thomas, that one blocked. And so the Comets will get one more opportunity, maybe. Pass down low. Sutherland can't get it to fall. Tipped around into the hands of Winchester. She puts it up, and this one will be a tie ball, which looks like will. Now, which direction is it going to go? Going to go with Caddo. Got to watch the clock here for the Lady Bruins. Time ticking away. Robinson looking down the court. Robinson, enough time to drive in. Off the glass, no good. No foul called. No whistles. And the horn sounds. 
42, 15, 25 is the score. It's a 17-point advantage for the Lady Bruins as we go to the intermission. This is the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game, our second quarter presented by K&D Customs here on the Bryan County Patriot Facebook page and Midwest Sports Net. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today.
Welcome back to the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game as we have Dixon at Caddo, an early season matchup here. We're already you know, heading toward mid-December. Caddo with five games in the, well, five games on the schedule prior to this one, three games in the books, three wins, 3-0 three for the Lady Bruins. Dixon comes in 2-0, and oh, and it's been all Caddo in this one, looking at some numbers from the first half. Emily Robinson with 22 points tonight. Carly Robinson with nine to lead the way for the Caddo Lady Bruins, the number eight team in Class A. And Dixon, unfortunately for the Comets, picking up where they left off in the first half, and it's turnover. Caddo will get the ball. So even though the Comets get it coming out of the break, not able to capitalize for the Lady Comets, wearing number 35, Caden Barton. Number 21 is Carly Page. Right now on the court for Dixon, number three, J.C. Jones. Number 10, Audrey Young. And also number 15, Chesley Apollo. Your starters for the second half. That Euro step in motion for Emily Robinson. And the sophomore now has 24 points. Morgan with a near steal. Morgan with an actual foul. Kennedy Morgan picks up the foul there. First one charged to Cato here in the second half. And for Morgan, it's her second some Lady Bruins in foul to, uh, I wouldn't say trouble. Three fouls for Kylie Anderson. Maybe a little trouble there. And Morgan comes away with a steal this time. Ahead to Robinson. One on four. She thinks better of it. Slows down. Morgan will come away with a loose ball. And Cato's going to need to reset here. Comets the man. Defense. A little pressure out top. And Mullins comes away. And a steal by Page. Dixon taking it the other direction. Page nearly traveled. Opening left corner for three. Audrey Young drains it. Audrey Young now with five points on the night. So we talked about Caddo scoring. Barton has seven. Apollo and Page each have six. And now Young has five for Dixon. It's back to a 16-point game. And they'll trade three-pointers. Harley Mullins with her first basket tonight. It's from long range. And I said that about Morgan a little bit earlier. I apologize. Morgan actually has five points tonight. She had a basket in the first quarter. It did not get credit to her on this stat sheet, on the official stat sheet. It did, however. 47-28, 19-point game as the team trade, teams trade three-pointers. And Robinson is there for the steal. No one ahead of her except black jerseys, and one of them will commit the foul. Kind of bailed Carly out just a bit there. Fouls charged to Page. That's her first personal. First team foul against Dixon here in the second half. Looked like Carly was a little bit out of control. And no one to pass it ahead. Not that she can't take it to the basket herself. She can. Addie Thomas in the contest now for Caddo. And it's Thomas. Wearing 24, 22 is McKay, the freshman, Katie McKay, Emily Robinson, number 10, Carly Robinson, number 4, and Kylie Anderson, 44, for Caddo here in the second half. Well, for Caddo, you would think here in the second half with a 19-point advantage, just keep doing what you're doing. Long pass inside. Apollo takes it, and she puts it off the glass and in. And so the sophomore now with eight points. For Dixon, however, it's a different story. Robinson ahead, slows down, jumper no good, fell away on that one, thought she might maybe would want to go a little bit stronger in toward the glass, but she pulled up because the defender was there. Still a 17-point game. If you're Dixon, well, the first thing you have to do is not turn the ball over. And as if on cue, the Comets turn the ball over, and there is a foul. And Jones will pick that one up. J.C. Jones, a senior with her first personal tonight. The second thing for the Comets is just to take advantage of the opportunities that are there, and they're starting to fall a little bit more. First quarter, Caddo outscored Dixon 26-10, and it wasn't as much that the shots weren't going in. Didn't make a whole lot of shots. Of course, didn't make the, the free throws as well. It was the fact that they just didn't have the ball on their end. Lady Comets had turned the ball over too much. Nice jumper, 17 feet, no good for Robinson. And the rebound, Cayman Pittman, the freshman, gets that. 
Thomas steps in the passing lane, tips it away to herself. The cutter is Robinson, and the pass is well behind her. Mahomes would not be pleased. Now we see a little pressure from Caddo coming in off an inbound and not from the coast-to-coast -coast inbound, and Robinson picks up a quick foul that really didn't seem to be necessary there. It's her first, so she has plenty to give. 22 points on the night. Excuse me, make that 24. Tip by Page. She's going to take it the other direction, off the glass and in. Carly Page, the freshman for Dixon with eight points. Nearing the midpoint here in the third quarter, Comets are sticking around, and McKay drives hard to the basket, and she was fouled. Let's say this foul was on the court. And so it'll be an inbound. And for Audrey Young, her first personal foul. 13 foul against Dixon. The Lady Comets are starting to pick them up a little more quickly here in the second half. Page with some pressure, and it leads to a turnover. Young ahead of the pack, got the steal, and down the court, and Coach Johnson will take the timeout now. Nice job by Page to get in the way. And Young, the beneficiary. Audrey Young now with five points here in the third quarter. She has seven in the contest. And Caddo's lead is down to just 13. It's 30-second timeout. I want to say thanks, by the way, to uh, all of our sponsors tonight. We appreciate each and every one of them. I also want to say thanks to Firehouse Subs. Firehouse Subs. Our third quarter presented by Firehouse Subs. Quentin and the folks down there. I don't know if you've if you've had a chance to eat there yet. Relatively new. The business has been around for about three years here in the Durant area. And oh my goodness. I'm gonna I am a fan, I will tell you, I am a fan of the Italian. Okay, that Italian sandwich, I am a fan. Now, there are many, many different sandwiches for which to use. I, li I like the fact that they're, they're toasted as well. Enjoy it. You need to stop by, check it out. Firehouse Subs in Durant, 2501 West Main, Suite 104A. Also, they're hiring. Go by, ask for Quentin. Tell him I sent you, by the way. Looking inside, Robinson and a block. Wow. Apollo with the block. Dixon will keep it. Trying to cut into a 13-point advantage. Apollo posting up now. Pass up high is to Young. And the pass down to Apollo. They find her down low off the glass. Anderson there with just enough defense. Apollo nearly gets the rebound. Laying in the lane. Bruins have it. Passes ahead. Morgan off the glass left side. Nice look by Carly Robinson and Kennedy Morgan with two more. Morgan now with seven on the night. And for the Comets, you just have to think, man, wow, just when we get close, Cato comes back. And Robinson, turnabout's fair play. Carly Robinson with a swat on Apollo down low. Mullins checks back in. Robinson is out. And for Dixon, Young will take a seat. Michaela Smith coming back in. Passes inside to Smith. Turn around. Jumper rolls around and in. Michaela Smith with two. She has four. Back to a 13-point game. Mullins is alone 
even more alone is Morgan on the right block off the glass and in Kennedy Morgan and Mullins with the sight to find her there. Kennedy Morgan with nine now. Great job drawing the defense off and Morgan just begging for it in the lane. And she takes advantage. 51-36. There's Smith. Trying to back down low on the freshman. Does just that. Off the glass and in. Michaela Smith, the senior for the Comets. And she has two more points. She has six tonight. It's back to a 13-point deficit for Dixon. Double team there. McKay. Robinson. Morgan alone again this time. The defense gets back. Outside, Carly Robinson for three. She'll chase down her own board. That one's tipped out. Last touched by the Lady Comets. <laughs> and, Jamie, I agree. I'm, I, I'm glad you agree with that. In the comments tonight, Jamie says she likes the Italian, too. Thanks to everyone for watching here on this BCP Spotlight game. Mullins for three. That one rattles in. Harley Mullins. Second basket of the night. Both of them here in the third quarter and both from outside the arc. And we'll have a foul, and Anderson will pick up, I believe, her fourth foul. Did the basket count? And they're going to say it counted. That's a little bit of uh, NBA continuation there, it looked like. Peyton Eubank, the beneficiary, she gets two in the and one opportunity. And I think the... There's a little bit of generosity there in that call. Eubank makes the most of the opportunity, though. The free throw falls, and it's back to a 13-point game once again. Well, you know, I said for Dixon, just when you think you're trying to cut into that lead, Cato makes a little run, and I'd say the reverse is true right now. Just when Cato looks to try to extend its lead, Dixon makes a little run of its own. Steal, and Pittman with her first two tonight. So Dixon back to within 11. McKay takes it all by herself to the basket. She's fouled by Smith. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Katie Crawford, sophomore, wearing number 35 for Caddo, has checked in. McKay's first free throw is good. Substitutions now as Crawford, Anderson, and Mullins come out. Robinson, Robinson, and Lowry check back in for the Lady Comets. Substitutions as well. Apollo checks back in. Eubank comes back in. And Barton, I guess for the stretch run here in the third quarter. A minute 15 remaining. Thanks to Firehouse Subs, our third quarter sponsor, 2501 West Main. Second free throw is good. Long range jumper no good, however, on the other end. Morgan tries a three-pointer, can't get it to fall. Lowry tries to chase this one down, and instead it's last touch by Cato. So Dixon will get this one back. Less than a minute remaining here in the first, or excuse me, third quarter. And Jamie, let me answer that question uh, from the live broadcast. If you're watching this replay, it will be on Midwest Sports Net YouTube channel. If you're watching the live broadcast, the signal may be a little bit weak here from Cato. And a pushover, right? Push away and a travel, according to Coach Johnson as well. So this will be rebroadcast, re-aired on Midwest Sports Net. Emily Robinson will take it all the way to the basket. And she now has 26. Near steal. Comets get it back. Jumper no good by Eubank. And Robinson off the glass again. Robinson with two more. Emily Robinson, the sophomore, with 28 tonight. Near steal, and she'll slide out. And this is where Emily Robinson really is at her best. The frenetic pace. 
and just shaking things up on both ends of the court. That is correct. Midwest Sportsnet. And by the way, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're watching this, Jamie among those watching tonight, please do subscribe. Trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark by the end of 2020. Morgan knocks it away. I think she actually kicked it as well. 0.4 seconds remaining. Third quarter just about to come to an end. And Cato had a 17-point advantage at the intermission. And it's going to remain a 17-point advantage going into the fourth quarter. Each team scores 18 points here in the third. And we'll take a break. We will be back with the final eight minutes of play here as you're watching this Bryan County Patriot spotlight game here on Bryan County Patriot Facebook page and on Midwest Sports Net. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today. Fourth quarter set to get underway here from Caddo. And the Lady Bruins will inbound with a 17-point advantage. Emily Robinson with 28 points tonight. Nearly half of the Lady Bruin point total. Tries to make it the even 30, can't do it. And the rebound brought down by the Comets. Page. Young, Pittman, and that one Young, a little bit out of control, taken away. Sutherland and Apollo on the court now for Dixon. Robinson, Robison, who has the ball and travels. Morgan, Mullins, and Anderson on the court now for Caddo. Each team with one possession here in the fourth quarter, and Neither team happy with the way it turned out. Steele, Robinson, ahead of the pack. Robinson has 30. She had 15 in the first quarter. Another seven in the second quarter. That one no good. Sorry, our clock camera was run into. I think we have it back where it needs to be. Six more in the third. She has two right now here in the fourth quarter. By the way, that foul was charged to Paige. That's her third for the Comets. There's a little bit of pressure, a little bit of zone. They're double-teaming Mullins. That means someone's open. Morgan's going to drive around, find Anderson. Pass, wrap around to Robinson. Shot no good. Rebound, Sutherland. And that one knocked away. Out of bounds, last touched by Carly Robinson. Robinson not giving much room to Apollo down low. Apollo will get it back. And the zone extends a bit here. Nowhere to go and traveling. Nice job by Robinson to get there. And Chloe Hightower, the freshman, traveled. She'll take a seat now as Barton will come back in. Comments we mentioned, 2-0 on the season. Wins over Springer and Winniewood. Mullins, clear path to the basket, and she took a step too many before she got started. 
had the open look in the right corner and decided that that baseline would be a better opportunity, but she took a step too soon. Sutherland throws, trying to look ahead to Apollo, stolen by Robinson. One pass to Robinson. Nice block by Barton. Put back no good. And Morgan will come away. No, she won't. This one on the court. Finally, Comets. We have a lot of contact in there. Robinson to Robinson off the glass. And, wow, loose ball. Whistles weren't blown. And <laughs> there were lots of folks that were yeah, running into one another. Now the whistle is blown, and Morgan will pick up the foul. And for Kennedy Morgan, not the foul she wants. Third team personal foul, fourth team foul. McKay will come back in. Thomas is also checking back in now for Anderson. Five and a half remaining here in the contest. And 21-point lead and a steal for Caddo. The friend, the clock definitely the friend of the Lady Bruins. One pass, another pass. Robinson eventually gets the assist as Katie McKay puts in two, and she has nine. And nearly picked up a foul to go with it, and that one dribbled out. So the Comets lose another one, and turnover's really the factor tonight for the Dixon Lady Comets. The Caddo Bruins defense really is there. Uh, there have been a few unforced turnovers as well. That one forced. Looked like there was some contact, but it's just really been indicative of the night. Amelia Imitachi checking in now for Dixon, wearing number 41. Looking down low for Robinson. Robinson to Robinson, and Emily, they say she traveled. She has 32 points on the night. Nearly half of the Caddo point total. That percentage keeps going up by increments here. Double team. Robinson got a hand up. Robinson got a hand up as well, but it's out. It was last touched by the Lady Bruins. Next on the schedule for Caddo is a Thursday game against Savannah. And that will also be a home game for Caddo. Off the glass and in. Caden Barton with two more. She has a team high nine. Mullins alone tries to look back, find a cutter, can't do it. Four on two, Luke now for Dixon. Barton one step and no whistle there either way. Now we have a whistle. This one's going to go against Dixon against Barton. Pro Image, our sponsor here in the fourth quarter. I want to say thanks to Daryl and Melissa for all they do. 1205 North Washington Pro Image, and they have the coolest collectibles for professional and college sports. Even football, by the way. High school football, Caddo Bruins helmet, the Dixon, excuse me, Dixon Comets, a Durant Lions helmet. That's pretty cool. That is just cool to have the two high school teams that play football here in Bryan County have helmets. So uh, you need to check that out if you haven't seen that. It's an actual Durant Lions helmet, an actual Caddo Bruins helmet. And of course, lots and lots of things. I, I know I spend a lot of money <laughs> there at Pro Image, and I enjoy it. Really nice to get to have a cool collectible place like that right here in Bryan County. Two more points, by the way, for Robinson. She has 34 and exactly half of the Caddo Bruin point total. Two free throws there and extends the lead to 23. Pass is a little bit too low to be taken in by Smith. The steal is going to stay on the Dixon end. Going hard to the basket is Pittman. She's fouled. She gets an N1 opportunity. Count it for Cayman Pittman. Okay, they count the basket. All right. I think there was some confusion there as to 
Pittman's going to the line to shoot the and one. Dixon will have subs come in. And I thought that I'd made the right call there, and actually it was right. I'm waiting for folks to get set for the free throw because Pittman gets one more opportunity. Midpoint here in the fourth quarter. Free throw no good. Robinson back to Robinson, and Robinson gets the assist again. Robinson gets two more points. She has 36. And now that percentage is greater than 50. Stop, off the glass, steal. She has 38, and it's a little bit higher than greater than 50 <laughs> from just a moment ago. Near steal by Robinson again. Here's the double team. Comets are going to beat it. Largest lead of the night, by the way, for Caddo. This one will stay on the Dixon in 25 points as J.C. Jones checks back in, as well as Lacey Winchester. I want to say thanks to all of our sponsors, which include Pro Image, of course, and Firehouse Subs, Candy Customs, and Gallipot Pharmacy. Thank you for watching tonight. Ball's on the court, and Smith picks it up, and I don't blame her. Just try to put something in and off the glass. It won't fall, but took advantage at least of a, a small opportunity there. There's too much Caddo Lady Bruin tonight. The number eight team in the state in Class A will remain undefeated tonight. Anderson, by the way, with an assist there is... Carly Robinson gets the basket. She's now in double figures tonight. She has 11. I don't have her assist total, but it is probably close to double figures tonight. So you have to think she's headed for a double-double if she's not there already. We'd love to see those official numbers a little bit later on. Barton moves over, tries the three. That one no good. Rebound put back twice. No good for Garrett. Point blank. Comets miss four shots, and it's going to stay on the Dixon end. Don't forget, the boys' game between these two will be following this one. It will be a separate broadcast. And here's some substitution coming in for Caddo. Five in, five out. Emily Robinson's night will end with 38 points. A host of rebounds, a slew of steals, some assists as well, a couple of blocks. She lit up the stat line. Foul there as Barton gets the basket. She'll go to the line for an and one opportunity. Barton, the first Dixon Comet now into double figures scoring tonight. First foul charge to Callie Burns, the sophomore. Free throw, no good. Story of the night also for Dixon. Barton gets it back, and Barton with two more points now, though. She has 13. Actually winds up with an extra point in the whole deal. Free throw percentage goes down, though. And that's one of the things, a number of things, that Coach Rogers will look at on the film tonight and tomorrow. Free throws, turnovers. Baseline opportunity is there, presents itself for Katie McKay, and she takes advantage. 11 points now for the freshman. Back to a 25-point game, 60 seconds left. Barton pulling her way inside off the glass. Count it! Caden Barton now. She has eight points here in the fourth quarter, 15 in the game. Three, three a little off the glass there, and McKay will find a timeout, get called, so subs can come in. Official timeout. Gracie Phillips, a sophomore, checking in, wearing number three. Of course, we've talked about Katie Crawford, number 35, 
And Josie Burns, the junior, wearing number 12, checks in. Burns now with the ball. Cattle allowing time to tick away. And we have official substitution here. Stop the clock long enough to get the subs in the game. Danica Lanig, a freshman wearing number 13, checking in as well as Claire Pope, another freshman wearing 15. Let's see if we get one more shot. Opportunity, Crawford, one dribble up, and that one won't fall, and it's going to be last touched by Phillips, the ref save. Five seconds left. This one just about in the books. Barton will chase it down in the corner. Three-pointer, a little bit short. Rebound to Burns, and that is this ball game. 76-53, the final score. Emily Robinson with 38 points tonight for Caddo. 11 points apiece for Carly Robinson and Katie McKay in the win. Now the coaches are going to give the long-distance high five in uh, this uh, age of COVID. Caden Barton with 15 points in a losing cause tonight for the Dixon Comets. Chesley Apollo with eight, as well as Carly Page with eight, seven for Audrey Young. I want to say thanks to Joseph McWilliams on camera tonight. Thank you for watching tonight. Thank you to all of our sponsors tonight, which include Pro Image, k and Custom, Firehouse Subs, and Gallipot Pharmacy. Thank you again. Final score as Caddo moves to 4-0 on the season, 76-53. This is a BCP Spotlight game on Midwest Sports Net.